YouTube, what's going on, man? It is your boy Sniggerhead Pack coming to you with another retro review. Let's get into it, man. Y'all already know what it is the Black Cement 3s that come out on February the 17th. That's size 9. You see it? So, I did a, a first look and unboxing when I got this in the mail yesterday. Just kind of give you my first thoughts about the shoe. Um, go check out that video if you haven't already. We're going to get into a little more detailed look. And like I said, I got, got a little hookup from the homie. He came through and sold me his pair. He left up on the sneakers app. Uh, so this came straight from Nike. It is a retail pair. Shout out to you again, Tim. Instagram, Tim XYMO. Go follow that man, please. And yeah, man, let's get into these dope ass shoes. Here it is, man, the Black Cement 3. If my camera wants to focus, there we go. And like I said in the last video, man, this is my most anticipated release of this year by far. They just so they just so clean, man. Some things y'all probably want to know about. First off, that leather quality. Now, to be real, I say it's decent leather quality. It's not too much better than the True Blue 3s, man. And I use these as an example because a lot of people trash the leather on these. I wasn't too, I wasn't tripping over the leather on these. Yeah, it is a little stiff got a little tumble to it it's really not it's not as bad as people think i think people just really wanted to make an excuse for not paying 220 and i can understand that but if you hated the leather on this one you're not gonna be too much impressed with the leather on this one this does have a lot more tumble to it but it's still pretty um somewhat stiff i say it's a little softer it has a little bit more cushion to it and that smooth leather on the mud guard i say it's probably the same quality as the black tumble leather nike air on that back tab a lot of people hype over the nike air of course just because that's its original og form midsole I see a little bit of brush strokes in it but it's not bad i can't wait till nike finally puts out a three that doesn't chip within a few years man nike man their threes they always that paint starts to chip whether you wear it a lot or not and I know they I know they can come out with a three that doesn't have midsole cracking after a few years, man. I you can't tell me that technology hasn't advanced to that point. As far as the elephant print, it definitely I say it looks a lot better than the true blue threes did. It looks a little sharper. Elephant print looks good, man. It looks immaculate. If I do say so myself. The leather on the tongue feels good. The stitched in jump man is, is looking excellent. Uh, insole, we got some more Nike Air branding. We got a red insole with that Nike Air in black. I do like the fact that they gave us a Nike Air hang tag. You know, they gave us OG treatment all the way on the bottom of the soles. We also got a Nike, uh, we got Nike Brandon, which normally when they did the Jumpman Brandon, it would say Jordan on the bottom. But yeah, man, as far as quality goes, I'm definitely happy with it. Best part of all, they didn't hit us with the 220 like they did the True Blues. They dropped it down to $200, which is a hell of a lot more reasonable than 220 So even though my ass paid over retail. So slight L for me, but I did want to get the video out to everybody who wanted to see it early. That's about it as far as uh, those close details go. We also got the stars on the bottom of the sole. If you ever buy a used pair, a lot of people use those stars to determine how much you wore it. Uh, if those stars are wear down and they're smooth, that means somebody wore the hell out of those shoes. A lot of people, man, when they sell shoes, they be lying like hell. I, I almost never believe somebody when they say a shoe was worn one time. That's so misleading, man. You don't know whether somebody wore a shoe for eight hours or 30 minutes. Like, can you really say your shoe was worn one time if you wore that bitch for 12 hours? Hell no. Nah. So I always take that uh, with a grain of salt when people say a shoe was worn once or twice. That's about it, man. Classic shoe. Uh, like I said in my last video, I normally wait on certain kicks, but these are going straight to feet. I will be wearing these this weekend. I might wear these for the Super Bowl, man. I don't know. Who y'all got for the Super Bowl? I got an Eagles fan in my household, so I have no choice but to root for the Eagles. So hopefully they'll come out with the W so I don't have to deal with a bad attitude tomorrow. Y'all let me know what you think about it. Uh, on foot coming up next. Follow me on Instagram at Stinkerhead Pat. Comment, like, subscribe. Shoot me some feedback. And I will see you next video. Bye.